70 grand. I'm gonna give you 70 grand. What are you gonna spend it on? Quick, go. I hope you said real estate. This is Taya's Two Cents. <laughs> In the last year, Californians have made over $70,000 in equity. In the last year, you guys. So that means that if you bought your home, let's just say three or four years ago, you're sitting on a ton of equity. That money is not doing you any favors by being locked up and tied up in your property. I'm not saying you need to liquidate your asset and pull a bunch of money out, but wouldn't it be wise to take some of that equity out and perhaps buy an investment property? And that doesn't have to be a big building. A lot of us, when we think investment properties, we think apartment building, we think multi-unit, but here are some ideas for you, okay? What if you bought a condo? Think about it, low maintenance, the HOA covers everything. You know, it's a great rental. Usually people wanna rent condos. And if there's, you know, low maintenance in there, then you have someone who could literally be paying the mortgage month after month after month. Or you can buy a duplex or a triplex, or better yet, you can buy a vacation home that you can run as, I don't know, an Airbnb, a VRBO, and part of the year you and your family can enjoy that. There are so many different things that you can do in real estate. You don't just have to have one property. And this is not one size fits all. This does not apply to everybody. But for those of you out there who are interested in leveraging the opportunity, leveraging the fact that you're sitting on a lot of equity and this time may not come again, I highly recommend that you sit down with your financial advisor, your CPA, and you talk about what's a reasonable amount of money that I can pull out of my house to buy a second property, to buy an investment property, because at the end of the day, making your money work for you is how you're actually going to be able to have free time to maybe retire one day because the bottom line is that the majority of millionaires and billionaires in the world, let's be real, they own a shit ton of real estate. So what are you waiting for? If you have any questions, you want to start a conversation, maybe get that investment property search going, shoot me a DM, comment below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.